Welcome back to another video. The maggots are back. Here's what's coming up today. They're back, all right. This sheep here has maggots inside in her neck, and you can see they're all coming out here now after the dip in the blue spray. So this one here has maggots. If you want to come in here with the camera, you can see them here, look. See a nest in them. So they're thick fat. The spraying on dip here now. Song, mixed song here, the only ordinary spraying machine. See, we'll keep back the maggots. We'll keep them back for a bit. We'll fight them. Have you been? I feel I got them. Do you reckon? The truck has landed, the lambs are off to the factory. What have you done, boys? The hell with you, Chuck. Why will not send Sosin? We're going up the hill gathering sheep in the mountain. I was up there today and I see a lot of sheep with maggots. So, we've tied Dono here to help us, so we're going up there now. He're, we, he's helping us because you're failing. You're failing, by Ty has to come, boys. I'm not failing. <laughs> Now the two boys, I'll go up the two dogs now. They'll just go up, bring down the sheep. I'm just gonna stay along here in the turn here because they always always shoot off up over the edge there and off over to the far hill. So it takes a couple of hours. So I'm just gonna wait down here now. Grand evening now this evening here. Ideal evening for putting on a bit, of, a bit of spot on and a spray on dip. So I'm waiting for the sheep to turn the corner here. Here they come. <laughs> There's a big crow now in this group. So they're gonna try their best now to break away every way possible. So the two lads are behind them here now. I'm doing the donkey work, running down here now. Come on, Jay! They're gone! Shit! Well, feck it. There's a couple after break away here, man. I try my best to run after them. They're gone. We have them down. Just a few breakaways on there. We'll just have to go around, go around there with the quad after and get them. I'd... Can you hold on? So look, she's on the line. And she's sure only a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> Get a blue spray for that now, disinfected. The, the, um, the maggots kill the sheep a lot quicker when they're ashore because they have less wool. When they get into the wool, they get into them very quick. What we're going to do now is we're giving the sheep a pour on, so we're just using the generic brand Spotner. It's the same as Spahan, we're just using the Spot gun. Spot on gun. We're going to give them five mil. We're just going to open their wool and make sure it hits the skin. So this is for flies, ticks, and um, all external parasites. And it will help slightly with the flies as well, preventing maggots. So we're also going to give them a spray, spray dip. So I'll show you there now what we do. Right, right, right. So this one here is maggots. If you want to come in here with the camera. You can see them here, look. See a nest in them. So they're thick fat. So I'll scrape off all these there and I'll give her a bit of a dip. Jesus, a lot in there. And it's only a small little patch. A couple, you can see here where someone were gone off them. Maybe there was a cold night there a few nights ago. So they're gone from there. But um, a few mild days coming up now, so they'll be on again. So this is just dip mixed up in a the bottle there. And we'll just rub it in, so hopefully that'll put a stop to it. It should definitely should be the guy. With the spatner, um, and spatner is the same as, as I said, you just literally go up to the top of the neck here, on the neck, top of the shoulder, and depart the wool and see, until you see skin, and just squirt it out, and it goes all the way down then. So obviously up higher there, the better it works. So um, I got, we get all our stuff now off sheep products that he, so uh, David Prendergast, who I bought the mules off last in the last video, he owns a company with Tom Stockton. So um, if anybody are after good deals, check out Sheep Products that e and they look after you. Looks like there's a few here that have maggots as well. 
that one over there and this one here definitely has them as well so there's actually a lot of them that have maggots and it's only half the sheep we brought in now so she's not looking good for this one there Ca catch her there take and we'll we'll see what what it is well she's fairly black and i know lift up her head some up there oh holy god yeah look at all the tiny little maggots she's a massive wound she's a massive wound here so we need to spray the shit out of this fairly quick jesus she obviously got cut in wire now or something but look at the crowd of them inside there oh they're horrible creatures so yeah this sheep here there's some amount of maggots we've her held here a good few minutes and we have to spraying the shit out of a blue spray and pouring dip up spraying dip all around it and you can see the maggots coming out you can see all the bigger ones now coming from the inside they're just the most horrible creatures you could ever come across literally eating the flesh off her poor sheep in turn she's in great condition they must be there that long but she obviously got caught in wire i suppose and the maggots came on upon her straight away oh they are just Bastards. Poor sheep. So, we'll be keeping her nearby the house there because you just don't know what the flies. They could attack her again tomorrow and be laying eggs. So, we'll just keep her an eye on her and keep tr treating the open womb there. And hopefully, she should be fine. You often have a lad spraying the garden in olden times, but don't we spraying the sheep. There's no more garden. We've them all given poor on now. We're just hunting him back in now into the race. And he's getting set up to go spraying on the dip. He's the nap sack sprayer on the back. Bono. Oh, no. Alrighty. Show us how you do it, sir. Spraying on dip here now. Strong, mixed strong here, the only ordinary spring machine. See, we'll keep back the maggots. We'll keep them back for a minute. Full fight them. Have Don't you feel I got them? Do you reckon? They're all spray there, the ones we brought in there. No, we're more too later, but we hope this will keep away the maggots. We'll quiet them down. Do you reckon? And give them a, uh, finish them off altogether. So, a few people were asking me last time about these bags. These are just ordinary school bags that I had when I was going to school before and I literally just cut a hole with the scissors and and I can drop the dose in and out so I've had these now with years like and they're doing away fine and you can buy these bags as well online but they're fairly expensive I know you can get those straps with the doses they cut the shoulders off you as well so these are just a bit, bit comfortable This week we're sending off lamps to the factory it's a little more time we want to make a few pounds We'll be up now, round the up lambs, and we're going to weigh them, see what's fit for the factory. Right, man's off. So yeah, we're going uh, we're going weighing the heaviest of the lambs now today, because there's a good few of them fit for the factory, we're hoping anyway. Um, today is a dry day, but I suppose over the last couple of weeks, a couple of months even, there's been rain constant, and the grass quality has been quite poor. So we've been feeding them in trucks. Also this week we've got a few cases of fly strike maggots. You think she have a lamb here with maggots? Dirty tail. Yeah, the maggots are right. Your maggots are right, wrong the tail. So this lamb here, a typical case waiting for fly strike to happen um, really bad case of the worms so we'll give this lamb a dose and trim off all the wool there because maybe the lamb has it already it's hard to see but um, that's just waiting to happen there now yeah this lamb got an awful doing the only barely spot him with loose wool when we shore it off he was all maggots he got an awful doing the, underneath him and they were gone in under him They'd finish them off straight away if they go on them. See how quick they can kill a lamb. They come on in a couple of days. Even poisoned. 
Hilse fra Eve. Hevel. Hilse fra Eve, eller hvad? Det er jo alle ham. Hvad er det nu? Var der mange maggots i sheep før? Back a years ago. There was. There were, there, were, there were always there. How much well, tree? Certain some years they'd come on in June, early in June. And uh, more years, you could even get them as late as September. But and you, later even. You shear the sheep twice, is it? Yeah, they would shear the sheep in September and that you do. Why then, you stay shear twice? But to get wool. Wool was valuable then. And the sheep that had were better off. Lighter. So there'd be less maggots all with all the there shearing. There'd be less maggots with the shearing. They couldn't be there then. Lambs there with dirty tails. He's cutting the dirt off them where they won't get maggots. And, uh, they look to be tidy or not. Yeah, right. Yeah, not too bad. Then have no dirt in him. So I'm just going to weigh them here now. There's roughly around 200 uh, ram lambs that are over over the 40, probably well over it. I'm hoping to maybe get about 35 or 6 of these, probably around 48, 48 to 50 kgs hopefully, and then maybe another whatever, 15, 15 or 20 yo lambs that are roughly around 44, 45 kgs. So with the marts at the moment, there's actually a shortage of heavily fleshed lambs. So that'll be lambs from kind of 48 kg upwards. So this lamb here now, serious, serious condition. A, tex a Texel r ram lamb off a kind of a Suffolk yaw as well. And ide ideal weight here now, 48 kgs. So I should be getting paid the full amount. They're offering 22 kgs now, which is great. They usually only offer 21.5 kgs dead weight. So hopefully I get the full kill out of this, plus obviously uh, bonuses, which is, would, would be part of board beer. That's an extra 20 cent. So the likes of this lamb should get the full amount, which is great. So there seems to be a good few of them here, but I need 50 of them. So hopefully I'll get the 50. We've seen the awful load of lambs. Irish country meets in Camlin and Wexford tomorrow. So one day he weighed now, he's 50 kg. So we're looking, the ram lamb is average around 40, maybe 48 and above. Your lamb is maybe 45 and 6 above. So we're getting the load ready now to go off. We're meeting a truck tomorrow in McCroom. And we're sending a lot of fat lambs to Irish country meats in, Wex in Wexford. So I kept the rams and yaws separate for obvious reasons. So we're just bringing in the yaws now. Silly, come here. Come boy. Come boy, silly. Steady. Dalu. Dalu, come here. Good dog. Lie down. Come boy again. Lie down. Come boy. All right, Dalu. Come over. Away. Away. Lie down. Away again. Wing your lambs here for the factory. 45. 45 kgs. They need to be around 44 and above. 44 and above. They have to be your lambs. Put away this lamb now. Look at this lamb. Put away it now. I have no idea. I'll say 47. Come on. I won't say anything. Luke, come on. I'll say nothing. 46. So I'll copy it. 49.50. He's tagging the lambs here this morning. Only one tag now wanted for the factory. These wraparound tags are a disaster. Right, ready to load the lambs now, so double decker. We always always throwing a straw or a bit of hay in to keep keep the lambs clean so we can fit 25 on top and 25 in the bottom. It's not the biggest of trailers but it'll do us fine. Off into the trailer now. Just count him to making sure they're all there. Into the trailer now. Come on. They'll hardly go up themselves. They'll go up. Come on. Hard enough to put them up the second deck. Especially bigger lambs. Come on. Off, so to deliver these to the lorry driver. I'm off, so.
Right, it's about 45 minutes to McCroomit, or probably a bit longer now with the trailer. Um, I have full load, so um, I'll take my time. The truck is here. We'll be loading the lambs up now. Right. So that's it for this video. We have a few more lamb salt, which is good to bring in some income. And we want to try to sell as many, much as we can over the next few weeks, because over the next few weeks, a lot of hill farmers are going to be weaning their lambs and the whole, the whole market and everywhere will be flooded with lambs. So we try and sell as much as we can over the next few weeks now, and we'll see you for the next one. What have you done, boys? The hell with you, Joe. Why bring that sand sauce in? Come on. Oh.